I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ, viewers all over the world. Welcome to Charis Missionary Church. This is our one-on-one -on -one international visitors program under the leadership of Apostle J.B. and Prophetess T.E. Makananesa. And with me here today is my mother, who had, who had an opportunity of sitting down with the Apostle one-on-one. -on -one. Ma, kindly please tell us your name and tell us where you come from. My name is Tande Katringo. I'm coming from East London. Kindly please tell us the reasons or challenges that made you to become our visitor today. Uh, the challenges that I was having uh, for me to come to Charis was my son who's uh, taking drugs and his behavior is strange. That's why I decided to come to Charis then. Uh, another reason, I think I came to thank God because of the prophecy that was prophesied to me in 20, I think it was 2016, where I came with my young son. I think by then he was 16 years old, and then his behavior was so bad. And he was banking school, failing, misbehaving, uh, drinking liquor, not uh, sleeping at home. So Apostle prophesied that because his name is Ntsika, so he said he must spell his name and he did. And he said the meaning of Ntsika is the pillar. So he told him that he must know that he's a pillar of that family. And then for me it was like, ah, how can the Apostle say this uh, uh, son of mine is a pillar? while he's behaved like this and he has failed three times, I've wasted a lot of money. But now... That has happened because he was doing the last year, it was it last year, but this year he came back and he's doing the online business and he decided to build me a very modern flat, three room flat. Each flat is having a um, uh, bathroom and a shower for me to rent. So I'll be getting some money out of it. So I'm very much grateful for God because the, prophets, the prophecy of 2016 is now confirmed. Mm. And how do you feel that, you know, you got a prophecy 2016 and it came to pass? Yo, I'm very much grateful. I don't know how. I'm very much excited. Even, you know what? Uh, because of the prophecy that has been confirmed, that has uh, happened, I now... I'm now positive about my son that whatever, because even uh, my, this son of mine, the prophet, the prophet, I mean, the, uh, the prophet says he's going to be the great man. So that is going to happen, and I believe that is going to happen because I've, I've seen God of Charis. So, Ma, with the issue of your other son taking drugs, how long has it been happening and how has it affected you? Sure. Uh, he started when he was uh, a teenager. I think it's uh, last minus 10 years, if I'm not mistaken. It has affected me so much because I developed depression and my memory was affected. I had memory loss. There's a lot that has happened. I'm no more coping because of that. And Ma, today you had an opportunity of sitting down with the Apostle one on one. I'd love that you kindly please tell us what he said when you saw him and please confirm it. Um, he said that he see me, that I, I'm, I'm, my heart is so I'm, so, I'm so discouraged and I'm hurt so much. And I confirmed because I'm hurt and I'm discouraged because of the behavior of my son. Mm. Okay, other thing he said, um, God is going to promote me to greatness and nobody is going to stop me and I believe that to be true. And Ma, how do you feel after a one-on-one -on -one session with the Apostle? I'm very much grateful because whatever that is said, I know that is going to come true. Because of the past, now I believe I'm very much grateful to God. I'm so excited and I'm happy. How would you encourage a parent who's currently facing the same situation that, you know, you were facing with your son before you were prayed for today? Uh, my suggestion and my advice is that the parent must not give up because God's time is the best. Everything will work well. The parent must just press on, pray, trust God, and not give up. Amen. Mm. I release you. I release your children. Now, now, now. I open a door for you in the name of Jesus. No one will close this door. 
and touch your back and stop any pain in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.